Italian astrophysicist and uh, I am uh, director of research at the National Institute of Astrophysics in uh, CTA. From the managerial point of view, I represent enough uh, within uh, uh, the collaboration board from the scientific point of view. I mm, have uh, always been involved uh, in uh, high energy astrophysics, especially in uh, gamma ray from uh, space. Uh, neutron stars are uh, leftover from uh, supernova explosions, remnant of uh, the nucleus of a very massive stars, very magnetized since uh, the neutron star inherit the magnetic field of the primeval star and also uh, very fast. The neutron stars are very, very fast rotators once again since they inherit uh, the rotational momentum, uh, the rotational energy of uh, the, the primeval stars. The identification of Geminga has been uh, a very long story. It took uh, 20 years to, to go from uh, the first uh, detection uh, to the confirmation of uh, the identification we had proposed. I remember very vividly a telephone call uh, we got uh, from the States, from uh, God, uh, our Goddard colleague, saying that uh, Rosat uh, had seen uh, the pulsation of Geminga. It was uh, 1992, and uh, Ygritte uh, had confirmed it. We were very excited, of course. Uh, it was uh, our source. We always uh, had told colleagues that uh, it was a, a pulse, uh, not well behaved since uh, it uh, uh, does not pul pulsate uh, in radio wavelengths, but uh, it barked like a pulse, it smelled like a pulse, it must be a pulse. At this point, uh, we realized uh, right away that uh, we had uh, the COSB data. And uh, uh, COSB had looked at the Geminga several times uh, during uh, its uh, seven years long uh, lifetime. And so maybe in the COSB data, the, the period was present. And uh, sure enough, the period was there. And since uh, we saw the period uh, several times, uh, we were able to compute uh, the, the period derivative uh, and so uh, to compute uh, the overall energetic of the source, thus uh, its uh, distance, uh, confirming what we had suspected uh, all the way, <laughs> that Geminga is a very nearby object. I've been very lucky in my career. I had uh, several uh, exciting moments uh, and uh, the one um, I remember most uh, vividly is um, when I open a, a mail from uh, the editor of uh, Annual Review of Astronomy and Astrophysics the mail said, um, Dear Dr. Cavio, given your extensive experience uh, on the, the ING mission of Neutron Star, we are pleased uh, to invite you to write a review paper on the subject. Mm, it was uh, uh, very mm, pleasing for me to, uh, to say immediately yes. But uh, then uh, I had uh, to, to provide the manuscript for, I remember it was September 2013. I had to devote my summer, my summer vacation, to uh, writing uh, the, the paper. After few evenings spent in such a way, I remember my daughter telling me, but when will it be finished? <laughs> and I remember telling her, I want it as much as you do. <laughs> but eventually I finished it. 
I am very often requested to give advice to, to girls at school and to young women uh, at the university. Uh, uh, what is uh, the most important uh, quality that help you uh, making your way uh, in the scientific career? And my answer is always the same. You need to be determined. You need to be absolutely confident uh, in your capabilities. It makes the difference. What is important in a career, scientific or otherwise, in the world uh, in general, uh, is uh, the confidence you have in yourself and the determination you have to follow your dream and to reach your goals.